In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a creative typography animation easily in After Effects. Hi, this is Kumiko from Gandhi Masters, and in this tutorial, we are going to make a creative typography animation for you to use as you like. It can work as an intro or outro for a video, a nice typography scene for videos again, and a typography project, of course. We'll use vivid motion in our animation, we'll do some color tricks and create a nice and minimal structure for our composition. So, let's begin. So first we create our composition by clicking this icon. Name your composition. Make it HD resolution and get the duration to 4 seconds. 4 seconds is fine for this one. Click OK. First we have to create a background, so go to your composition, right click on it, go New and select Solid. Name it BG for background and click OK. Go to Effects in Presets panel and type Fill. Drag and drop it over your BG layer and now we can add a color in it. So, click on the color icon and choose your color. I already have my color selected so I just get the color code and paste it here. You can choose whatever color you want. You see? For this, I will have this background color, click OK, and our background is ready. Now let's create the typography first. Go to the toolbar and click on the T for the type tool. Let's zoom in a bit, click Ctrl and plus to zoom in. And by hitting the space bar, you can control your background and your whole scene. So. Click on your scene and start typing. Okay, let's add the color on our typography too. Go to the character panel, click on the color icon and add your color. I will use this color code for this one. Okay. Let's make this half, so we have a better resolution. And now, let's align our text to the center. So go to the Align panel. If you don't have it open, you can open it from Window and click Align. OK. We will make our letters bold by clicking all caps. And we will use Montserrat font and choose black ok perfect and let's take it to 167 points I think that's fine press P on the text layer to move it let's take it somewhere here for now ok it is aligned and now let's create our second text we can duplicate this one and change the text, so click on your text layer, then click Ctrl D to duplicate it. Press P to move it. OK, now let's type typography. Double click on your text layer and start typing. Alright, let's take it to 119 points. OK. Click on the selection tool. OK. Click on both your text layers and move it a bit down to be in the center. OK, I think this is fine. And now for our last text layer. Ctrl D again, press P to move it, 
and let's make this one a regular okay and that 46 points okay and type your text Okay, we don't need this to be all caps, so click on that again and it makes it normal. Nice. So this is the scene we are going to animate. Let's hide this for now. Okay, so now let's go to the typography animation part. We will use the text flow toolkit, so go to effects and presets and type text flow. Drag and drop it on your text layers. Alright. And we will make this typography animation a bit bouncy and with a position animation so let's start from the global animation presets let's take speed to 0 0.04 we don't need speed out so take this to 0 frequency to 330 because we want the animation to be bouncy And the decay to 8, maybe a little more, 840, I think it's fine. And we will have an animation from down to up. So go to the position animation in point and take your text down. Let's see what we have. Alright, okay, this is it. Turn the opacity to 200. Let's see what we have now. Oh. Okay, so here you go to the text and you have the in and out point. Go to the in point, expression selector 1, and here you can have your animation based on characters. We want the animation to be based on characters, so this is our final animation. Okay. But because I don't like the opacity effect and I turn it to 100, we are going to create a mask to make our animation appear in our scene. So let's go a bit closer. To create a mask, click on your text layer and go to the rectangle tool, click on it and create a mask around your word. Okay, maybe we can move it a little bit more to the down. This is better. So now we have this. Great. Let's go to typography. First of all, make the opacity 200. We're gonna do the same here with the mask. And for this one, make the animation start from up and go to down, so we can have some diversity. Okay, go to text, in, we want this to be based on characters too. Alright, let's go to the global animation. For this one, we will have the speed again at 0.04. The frequency may be a little less from the other one. Let's make it to 80. Okay, and the decay, let's make it to 6, so it will be a little slower. Okay, so this is what we have now. We are going to create a mask for the typography text layer too. So create a rectangle around your text. And your text will only appear inside of this rectangle. Alright, bring the position a bit to the up. Now this is our animation so far.
okay this is better so now to add a bit more movement in our scene we are going to animate our two text layers with a null object too to create the null object click right click on your composition new null object we will name this creative typography so we know what it refers to and we are going to parent our two text layers to our null object so select both of them go to the whip tool and parent them to our null object creative typography so now we can have an extra animation on our text layers without affecting the one they, they already have. So click on your null object. We are going to do a scale animation. So click S to reveal the scale value. Add a keyframe somewhere over here. And let's make the start animation a bit bigger. Okay, so now we have this. I want to I want to keep the uh, bigger scale a little bit more on our timeline, so I'm going to select our two keyframes and move them to the right. So you see now they stay bigger a little bit more on the scene and they start scaling down after that. Click F9 to make them easy ease. Or you can right click on your keyframes and go to keyframe assistant easy ease, but the shortcut is a better way. It's faster to work like that. Then select them and go to the graph editor. And let's make the animation speed at its highest somewhere here at the center. Let's see what we got now. Okay, maybe we can open the keyframes a bit more so it's a bit smoother. Okay, let's adjust the curve a bit more. All right. Okay, I think this is fine. So for our last text, I want to create a typewriting animation. So I'm going to go to the effects and presets panel again and type typewrite. Typewriter, okay. And then drag and drop it over my text layer. Nice. So let's open our text layer. Here it is, our animator one. Open rate selector and you see here we have already two keyframes at the start. So this is the animation that it is created so far. It is already what I want, but maybe a little bit faster. So I'm going to decrease the space between our two keyframes a little more. Okay, I like that better. Now let's fix the timing a little bit more. So first of all, I want my two main text to appear and my last text to come into the composition a bit later on after they have reached their final position. So I'm gonna move all the layer a bit to the right. Okay, this is better. I'm gonna change my null object's color so it's easier to recognize. Okay. And maybe I want my two main texts to have 
a movement position all along. So, what we're going to do is to make another null object. Go new null object. Change the color again. Okay. Click enter to name it. I'm gonna name it main text scale down and I'm going to parent my first null object to it and add some scale again so it keeps scaling down from this position so click S on our new null object Make a first keyframe around here and go at the end of the composition and make it a bit smaller. Okay, I think this is too much, so increase it a little bit, maybe to 95. We just want a little bit of movement so it doesn't have to be too much, just to be moving till the end. Okay, maybe we can decrease it a bit more, let's see. Mm, I think this is better. Okay, maybe this Kanti Masters animation will start a bit after. You have to search for what you like and make the right adjustments for your timing, so don't be afraid of that. You can make as many adjustments as you like. Maybe a bit slower, let's see. Okay, this is a fine outcome. So to make our scene a bit more creative, we are going to do some animation with the colors. So as I see it, I think we can start with the opposite colors and go to this final composition with our original colors. So what we are going to do is first of all we are going to turn our background to this red so click on this red copy it it's the red from our text layer so you can just click on your text layer and go to your color icon and copy it now go to our background layer click on the fill color icon and paste it and we want our letters to start with this yellow color so we are going to duplicate them first so select them both and click ctrl D now you have them duplicated and let's add to them this yellow color of the background I take my color code and paste it Okay, so now we have this here and this here. Okay, and somewhere here, I want the color to change. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a circle shape. Go to the rectangle uh, tool, click on it until the drop down menu appears and click on ellipse tool and we don't need the stroke so click on the stroke icon and then to none hit ok and let's create a circle by clicking shift so it's symmetrical all right click on the anchor point tool and get your anchor point to the middle 
we are going to scale it and we want it to be scaled uh, symmetrically so that's why it is fine for this one to put the anchor point in the middle of our shape we are going to name our layer bg2 meaning background number two and now we are going to create our second yellow background with animation so I will bring my circle somewhere over here all right and press S to reveal the scale value now I will add two scale keyframes one at the original scale size at a hundred percent and one where it will be big enough to cover all of my scene and make a background out of it okay so this is it for now select both your keyframes but press f9 and go to the graph editor let's see this movement to be faster at the start and smoother at the end okay let's bring it to the middle to see what comes with that okay i think this movement is fine so as i said i want the background color to change around here so i'm going to bring all of my bg2 layer somewhere here let's see that okay mid to the front actually i want the background color to change right before my two main text layers hit their original size so i think some work here is fine so we have to change our background color to this yellow so click on the color icon and copy this color then click on our bg2 layer and go to the fill icon click on it and paste the color now we have this and we want when the yellow background appears so when it appears our letters to be in the red color so what we're going to do is to bring them on top of our yellow ones and duplicate two times our background to layer bring one over the creative uh, text layer with the red color and one over the typography we are going to use this background as mats for our two text layers so go to your text layers make sure you have this icon clicked on then go here to the track mat and make it alpha mat. Do the same for the creative text layer. So now what we have here is that we told our two red text layers to appear only when our yellow BG is on the composition. So now we have this outcome. okay really nice so this is our animation this is how you can create a creative typography animation scene really easy inside after effects so this is how you can make a creative typography animation fast and easy if you like the tutorial hit the like button and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel because there are more tutorials coming up. For more typography animation and motion graphics, you can check the X Elements template for After Effects and Premiere Pro, among other amazing templates and toolkits by Candy Masters. You can find the links in the description box down below. Until the next tutorial, have fun and keep animating!